Draft is grab your pickaxes and catch up on the cube locally. What's up guys, update just dropped, sure is something to try and decipher, huh? We've got pages of new stuff to go over, so let me learn you a thing about all the events and mishaps that happened on the server this week. This week, the news is late. Why is that? Splat's solar system is complete, and what a beauty it is. And if you're wanting to see the real thing, there are plenty of potions that can give you enough levitation to reach Andromeda. There are, of course, other potions to drink if fizzy lifting isn't your thing. And if you're on the violent side of the night, Nightmarish and their friends have fun summoning dozens of skeletons. If you're looking for a chiller time, BB has learned how to ride a camel. Residents attend a normal dinner, and Grunk has a fun day at Dirt World. Swamp and Gummy have big news. Swamp is having Gummy's baby. Congratulations. Group Enigma Solving at Pirate Cove sees all 12 Ender Eyes found, and Hivey breaks free of the Ender King's control after a long, long fight. A new mod allows residents to make plush mobs, and of course the end opens. Tonmi is the first through the end portal, and Levy gets the final strike on the first dragon. Due to scheduling conflicts, there are more than one first dragon fights. The second sees Mando dealing the killing blow. And with the end open and the dragon dead, residents begin exploring for loot and new blocks. Splat uses his elytra to take some aerial screenshots of his projects. Ink uses his elytra to go end busting with Jelly and Levy. And Zephyrus uses her elytra to catch and ride a tardigrade. Of course, the end is not without its issues. Looking at you, Penumbral Forest, Berry and Popcorn invent new problems in trying to collect every plush mob in the game, and Neon invents water skiing with Elytra. Using cages, every end mob has been collected and brought to the overworld, including the Enderophage, which is being used to inflict pregnancy on players at random. Did I mention that end cities got buffed? End cities got buffed. A lot. And a statue of Puin gets added to the creature of statue garden. Residents also meet Jeff the villager at the end of the game. And now, a reading from r slash man living spaces. White sandstone floors. Wine concrete walls. Split level with no visible accessible ramp between levels. Three yellow windows in the entryway. Single bookshelf placed on the upper level. Torches scattered about willy-nilly to stave off darkness. Almost staring regretfully at the room. Single furnace placed on the back wall. Split level ceiling to match the floor. This has been a reading from r slash male living spaces. Grace builds a rainbow bubble under the water. Glitch has a normal reaction to the salt wastes biome. And this week ends with a picnic at a lovely pink pergola.